Welcome to Diffusion and Effusion. In this lesson, we're also going to talk about Graham's Law. Basically, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at how gas molecules move through a space. So here we have a room full of people, and in the middle, here's you. You're surrounded by a bunch of people at varying distances from you. I want you to think about the last time you farted in a room surrounded by people. So here's you, and here's you farting. You probably noticed that the people closest to you started to smell the gas first, followed by the people that are a little further away, and that it took the longest amount of time for it to reach, for the smell to reach the people furthest away from you. Now the reason the people closest to you smelled it before the people further away is because the gas molecules are constantly moving and constantly spreading. We call this diffusion. And diffusion is a tendency of molecules to move from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration until the concentration is uniform throughout. That means until the concentration is the same everywhere, the gas molecules will tend to keep moving towards that lower concentration area. So that's one particular phenomenon. Another phenomenon we see with gases moving is what happens when they escape from a container. And this is called effusion. With effusion, a gas is escaping from its container through tiny holes in the container. We can see that happening with this balloon. The balloon was inflated to a certain size, and then if left out over long enough time, the gas inside of it that was used to inflate it finds a way to effuse out. And as you can see, after some amount of time, the balloon has become much smaller because that gas was able to escape through tiny pores in the balloon. And in 1846, a guy named Thomas Graham investigated diffusion and effusion of gases through various containers. And he came up with a relationship between the rate, R, of a gas diffusing or effusing and the molecular mass of that gas. We're able to show the relationship between rate and molecular mass by comparing two gases. So if we look at gas A and gas B, then the ratio of the rate of gas A to the rate of gas B is equal to the square root, the molecular mass of gas B, notice it's flipped, over the molecular mass of gas A. So the ratio of the rates is a square root of the inverse ratio of the masses. So rate A over rate B is equal to the square root of mass B over mass A. We call this Graham's Law. Now, Graham's Law has to be used to compare two different gases, gas A and B. So let's see what this looks like with this example. In this case, we're asked how quickly does hydrogen gas diffuse compared to nitrogen gas? Well, let's set hydrogen gas as gas A and nitrogen gas as gas B. So the rate of hydrogen gas compared to the rate of nitrogen gas is equal to the square root of the mass of B, so in this case nitrogen gas, the mass of nitrogen gas over the mass of hydrogen gas. So if I come up with the formula masses, I can simplify this expression to be the mass of nitrogen, which is 28, over the mass of hydrogen, which is 2, and that gives me the root of 14, which is 3.74. That tells me that hydrogen gas can diffuse 3.74 times faster than nitrogen gas. And that's an example of how to use Graham's Law to compare two gases. That wraps up our lesson on Graham's Law, diffusion, and effusion. If you have any questions, write them down in your notes and bring them with you to class.